Berserk chapter 372. Quick recap. Let's get straight into it. All right, so the chapter opens up with Casca having a nightmare of Elfhelm crumbling up into the sea and she witnesses Gus just walking away. Casca then wakes up in the center of a huge room in Falconia and as she wakes up, she's wondering if she's currently in a dream. Maids just barge into the room and then start dressing Casca up immediately right after she wakes up and they dress her in like this beautiful crimson colored dress. Casca at this point is all dressed up and shit and she gets up and starts walking around and she witnesses the world spiral tree. Casca then starts wandering around more and she encounters the band of the falcon embarking on a campaign and it brings her to tears because it brings back memories of the band of the hawks. Casca then goes outside to a garden and starts playing with some kids and then after that she goes and has a five star meal, some falconia steak, some high level good shit, probably the best shit she's ever eaten and then she goes takes a bath. Casca is in the bath and she sees a reflection of her homies in which she's no longer with. Casca later on is just sitting on a chair alone by herself, kind of like I am right now. And then she starts having a panic attack. And then the guards come in, a whole bunch of guards barge in the room to try to see what the hell is wrong with her. And then she attacks some of the guards. And then after that, she faints. And I think she got subdued by one of the cops. I think they did something to make her fall asleep. And then we go over to Griffith. He's with his troops right now. And all he says is the East. So we end the chapter with him saying the East. So it seems like we're going to the East. And that's where the chapter ends. Uh, we're finally fucking back. Hopefully they don't go on a huge ass break like they did. Hopefully it's like a monthly thing. And they stick to that. Because uh, the people who are writing and drawing Berserk are actually doing a good job. Like R.I.P. Kentaro. But the people that are working on it are not doing bad. I'm fucking loving it. So see you guys then.